Yup, we're gonna be learning how to use structure blocks. So, to get a structure block, do slash give at s or your name, which in my case is Stippish Spider 7. You can press tab to autom uh, darn it. You can press tab to automatically fill it in. But I'm just gonna do at s structure I'm gonna press tab and there you go got a structure block in Minecraft bedrock and Java edition they work very differently in Minecraft bedrock edition they are very oversimplified for use and this is Minecraft bedrock edition so if you want to learn how to do it in Java edition go look up a better tutorial than mine but once you place it down you can see that it makes a box like this this box can be easily turned off with this if you don't want it to stay in your world um, this, I have no idea what it does, and I don't recommend messing with it, so, yeah. But anyway, you can drag this around, you can see your X, Y, and Z right here. X is red, Y is green, Z is blue, and you have it right here. This is the offset. Right now it's negative 1, meaning it includes the block under it. If I set the offset to 0, it will not include it, and it will be 5 blocks up. As you can see, if I grab, um, some concrete for easier demonstration as you can see we have one two three four five blocks up as you can see it's a height of five but what if we do minus one we only have four blocks and this one so these ones don't really tie in with each other for now let's set it like this now, if I set the Y higher to, say, 6, it would go 1 above. Same goes for the X, which is the red line. So if you set it higher, it's going to go right there. If you set it to 1, it's just going to be like this. Set it to 5. And same is for the Z direction. Um, the offset works the same way. So I'm just going to quickly put this and uh, do this. For easier demonstration as you can see if I put an offset for the X to minus 1 it will move a bit past the structure block in the negative direction if I oh yes and structure blocks do in fact include entities and no you cannot clone yourself I've tried it but there you go you can set it to minus 2 minus 3 and so on same goes for the Z if you do minus 1 minus two yep and if you do positive numbers then it will move past the structure block as you can see here so you can save away from the structure block and not need to include it same goes for the Y as you can see it's above the structure block same goes for the X wait oops that's the wrong one yep it goes past the structure block now, this is a structure name. Before you have to save it, you have to put down the structure name. For example, Bob. <laughs> okay. Now, include entities. Whether you include entities or not, as you can see, I am not included. Sheep. Oh, oh well. Um... You can see entities are included and they are real time so you can save entities remove blocks um i don't yeah remove blocks will save it that way um but i don't know what that does but yes and now if you want to save it as bob you do that now you have a structure right here you can load it you put your structure name in here. And as you can see, it loaded. But it's one block in the ground. Why is that? Because whenever you load a structure, it gets reset. There you go. Now it should save correct. Now it should load correctly. As you can see, that is exactly what it does. Now, do you want to play a little animation with it? Mm hmm? then you just have to simply 
not do that, you take integrity. I don't know what does seed. I don't know what that does. Rotation will rotate it. Mirror will mirror it on. So then the sides will be completely flipped for and animation mode. You can either place by layer, and let's say 10 seconds. So you can see, boom, 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 boom. And now I can just quickly put uh, remove blocks. Oops, I accidentally saved it. I've got to go all the way back. Whenever you load the structure block, because it saved the structure block in it, it will override the it will override the loaded structure block. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna load it. I'm gonna remove blocks. Oh, that didn't do anything. Okay, so remove blocks only remove it from the screen. Okay, well then let me just quickly. And the structure block does in fact change. Um, it changes uh, its um, sprite whenever you, depending on what type it's in. So for save, it will do that. For load, it will look like that. And for corner, which I also don't know how to use. Yeah, it will look like that. And then the classical structure block has its own sprite. But yeah, these are, this is how it will look. And so if I do um, animation place by block and do 10 seconds, this is my favorite one. Let me just quickly hide this. This is my favorite one. It goes wee. And then yeah, that takes a while. But yes. Um, and that is basically how you use structure blocks. Uh, you have to be careful as cloning whenever you um, put an observer in a structure block it will activate the observer the observer will detect a uh, change so if I save it as you now if I load it you can see the pit. Wow, that's not good. as you can see the piston pushed because the observer detected a change and um, I believe structure blocks can also be used to put literal structures in your world from like the save data and that's actually what they were originally intended to do and you may see a lot of YouTubers use them because there's also an item called um, oops structure void which looks like this in uh, Java edition it looks a bit different it looks like a small blue thing but this is a it's like an, a barrier block except you can pass through it and um you can put but you can also put stuff like um blocks like pressure plates on it which is actually kind of cool yeah and you can break it and yeah so that's another thing you can use but the structure void is um used whenever you load a structure from a preset for example if you're loading one from the game file for example a village or well not not a village villages won't work if you're loading like a village house every single air block that will be loaded i think will be a structure void or something like that but for more in depth i recommend watching other youtube videos where they actually know what they're doing but uh yeah that was intro to structure blocks um, thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, and if you don't want to miss videos like this, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so it will put these videos in your notifications to never miss them. But yeah, thank you, and till next time.